Hey, hey YouTube, what is up? The game Pokken Tournament is coming out really soon and I'm actually very excited for this game. It looks like a mix between Pokemon and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, the fighting game, because that's basically what it is. It's a Pokemon themed third person over the shoulder, three dimensional fighting game that takes place in a three dimensional ring, which is very similar to Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm's play style and game style. And I'm really excited, I'm really looking forward to it, but with some information that's coming out recently about the game that they're releasing beforehand to try and maybe foster hype or increase pre-order sales, I'm actually confused as to how this game is going to work not only on a local, friendly playing level, but also on a competitive level because it just doesn't make sense what they're proposing and how they're saying this game is going to work. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, the game is going to run at 30 frames a second when you're playing locally with your friends on a couch next to you, and 60 frames a second when you're playing online or in a LAN setting, which means you connect two Wii U's to each other basically, and they run together playing the game instead of connecting over the internet. Now this is confusing to me because if you've ever played a Smash Brothers game or if you've ever played a fighting game in general, you know that frame timings are actually very important in the game. And just a quick example of that, if you're playing Smash Bros and you're falling towards the stage, you can do what's called a tech and if you hit one of the triggers, which is basically your shield buttons, at a specific time when you're about to hit the stage, in a certain frame window, you can roll the landing and recover quicker than if you did not hit the triggers, you would instead just bounce on the ground and you would recover slower and possibly get hit a second time. In a fighting game, frame windows and frame timings are really important because it dictates how you play and what moves you do to counter your opponent's moveset or attack or anything of the sort. It's the base timing for how you play the game is set around the amount of frames an animation takes and it seems weird that locally it's only 30 frames a second and when you play online or in a LAN setting it's 60 frames a second. Personally I just feel like that's going to mess people up when they go from playing locally and practicing with their friends at home on the same console to playing online or to playing in local maybe competitions. They're going to be getting confused because perhaps the frames don't look the same or they are the same but because it interpolates an extra 30 frames into the actual fighting game it's going to make them feel like their timings are off or they're going to mistime their moves because the game is going to be running at a higher frame rate and their eyes are going to be perceiving the game differently than when they were practicing at home. Another thing they're doing which is confusing me, which is with only the local play yet again, is that when you're playing Pokken Tournament locally with your friends, one of you has to use the Wii U gamepad. Now this is not only confusing because they don't let you choose what one of you guys is using, but also because they're designing and releasing with the game a specific controller that only works with Pokken Tournament. And if you're only releasing, if you're releasing a special controller and you want that to probably be the, you know, the best optimal controller for the fighting game, when people play locally to practice against their friends, why force them to use the not controller that you designed? Why force them to use the generic controller that, you know, every game has to work with? Why even build your own controller if you're going to force people locally to play using the gamepad? Now, I do want to clear the air. You can play online or in LAN settings without the gamepad if you're only one person. If you're playing online, you can use the special controller, but when you're versing your friends at home, and your friends want to practice against you, you know, maybe you're practicing for a tournament, one of you for some reason is going to have to use this gamepad and not the game controller that they designed specifically for this game. And the reason this really confuses me is because the game is based off a Japanese arcade game that only has one screen, and the reason that the other player has to use the gamepad is because it's showing two different video feeds, one over the shoulder of one fighter and the TV showing the other, which is, you know, your op opponent. So basically both players can't look at the same screen and verse each other. One person has to look at the gamepad screen, which is going to be showing a completely different video output from what's on the television. And this probably explains why the game's running at 30 frames a second locally, because when you're using the gamepad, it's basically taking 30 frames. And then when you're using the TV, it's using the other 30 frames and 30 plus 30 is 60. The game has to regulate two instances and two viewpoints of the same game. And that's why it's only at 30 frames a second locally because it's doing 30 frames a second in two different places, which is equivalent to 60 frames a second, which explains why when you do LAN play and online play, you can bump it up to 60 because you don't have to basically keep in mind the other player's perspective. It just seems really weird that they're doing this because they designed a controller 
specifically for the game that now, especially when you go to tournaments and stuff like that, you're not going to be able to use two of the design controllers. Like if I'm playing an opponent and we both want to use the special controller that only works for this game, we're both going to have to have a LAN Wii U connection and we're not going to be able to play on one Wii U. If you played Smash Bros competitively, or if you've even gone to local tournaments, or just play with your friends, you know that you can use four GameCube controllers on one Wii U if you wanted to, and it's fine. Now imagine going to a competition, and you're playing, and they tell you, in the competition, one of you guys can't use a GameCube controller, the controller that you've been practicing on for the last, you know, whatever hundred hours you've been practicing this game, the game you've learned the muscle memory and the timing for, for the specific controller, you now have to use a different controller. It doesn't make sense. It seems really backwards. So now every tournament to make up for that fact is going to have to run with LAN settings, which means that everyone is going to need two Wii U's to play each other for some reason when they could have just made the game like it was in the Japanese arcade, on one screen. It makes no sense because in the Japanese arcade it only had one screen. For some reason when they ported it to the Wii U they thought it'd be a good idea to make the game run basically at half the amount of frames and have two different perspectives which makes no sense because the game originally was only one screen. We knew it was capable of playing like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm does where it just shows both opponents on one screen and when they move farther apart the camera will pan back slowly. I'm fine with that. I don't understand why they felt the need to force you into one viewpoint and your opponent to be forced into another viewpoint. Imagine playing Street Fighter and it was only over the shoulder. It wasn't, you know, looking at it from the side. It makes it makes no sense to me. I can't understand why they do this. It's kind of weird because there's other games that are in this style that don't force you to use this weird over the shoulder viewpoint with differing viewpoints for each player. It makes no sense to me. I really can't understand it and I'm I'm having a tough time understanding how this is going to be a competitive game if they're putting all these walls up to prevent it from being competitive in any way. And at the risk of rambling, I'm going to end the video here and I'd love to know your guys' opinion of this topic with what Pokemon Tournament is doing and what you think they should do maybe to remedy some of the errors they're kind of putting in front of themselves, kind of tripping themselves up for some reason. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video because it's free, it's fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.